Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day today. Uh, so Bitcoin got rejected off of downtrend level resistance that we were tracking. Unfortunately, we didn't find support off of the, the macro formation that we were hoping to have a breakout of. Uh, so this is just a little bit of a delay, unfortunately. Uh, there's a few things I'm tracking though in the charts that could show potential signs of us breaking out still in the near future, like hopefully within, like hopefully by Monday. Um, but worst case scenario, we have other scenarios that we can look at as well that we can allow us to get profits as well. Um, but first, before we dive into the charts, I'm going to show the profits for the community really quick. Let's go to today. All right. So today, so far, we got faint with 119% gain with 75x leverage. And um, he did a short as well for 58% gain with 40x leverage. Jeremy, one of our coaches, 65% gain off 50x leverage. And Chris LC, 475% gain with 100x leverage. Awesome job, guys. Um, but let's, yeah, let's find some more trade opportunities so we can crush it and get some more profits. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the inside. All right, cool. All right, so the first thing we need to do is look at the DXY really quick. So we got this uh, rising wedge that we are talking about yesterday, and we are starting to build support off of 112, which is actually a pretty bad sign. Um, so we might actually, there's there's two things that could end up happening here. Um, we will, this, this rising wedge formation, they typically break to the downside. So if it breaks to the downside, we first want to see 112, 0.20 act as resistance before allowing it to influence our trades in case we end up seeing sideways trading here um, so first yeah before letting the DXY influence your trades wait until we see this act as resistance and then it'll go down towards its technical target which is around 110 right here 110.81 and best case scenario it'll go all the way down to 110.36 down here um, the technical target is down here, um, ultimately, but we have this little area right here that we need to be mindful of just in case we see a support bounce. Um, so that's the DXY. This is the bearish um, thing that can end up happening here. However, we have seen the DXY break out of the rising wedges to the upside. Even though it's not likely, um, we could see the DXY come back up here. And then if we find support back above this uptrend level of resistance right here, then it can go back up to its these high levels again around like 114.65. Um, hopefully it doesn't lead to that, but that's something that we have to be aware of just in case um, anything could happen. We had recently we had bullish news for the DXY with the unemployment data, so it's possible for it to actually break um, these resistance levels again. Um, Let's go over to Bitcoin really quick. Let's first look at the daily chart because I want to show you an adjustment I made to one of my trend lines. Um, so I made an adjustment to this trend line right here. This used to be a dotted line on my screen, but I made it solid after we got the fourth rejection or fifth rejection off of it right here. Um, so now, yeah, now I'm getting a, keeping a closer eye on this uh, downtrend level of resistance since it's uh, began to influence this trade. So. Um, going over to the shorter time frame so we can break down what actually happened on the hourly. So yesterday we we're talking about two potential scenarios, right? Um, so we had an alarm for this downtrend level resistance because if it was end up being broken, we uh, see price action come up, they maybe bounce here and came up and then act they just have this act as support. Then I would have um, added like at least 40 grand to my trade and ride it to this technical target around 24k. The, but however, we end up breaking this uptrend level support right here. And we can't, we saw price actually come down, get a support bounce off this trend line that we were tracking with my alarm here. It came up, got rejected, came down, retested again, got rejected, and then came down. And then we end up hitting the measurable target of this double top formation right here. Uh, right now, we're seeing price action hold up on this area of interest. You can see right here the strong area of interest right here on the VPVR. Um, this point of control. And we're getting um, some solid support bounces off it again. So maybe we'll see price action come back up to retest uh, this this trend line right here. And maybe we'll break back above it, but it's not likely. Um, 
but we got yeah we had season price action over here as well and active support over here as well so uh, this is a decently strong area of support that hopefully it holds up but if it doesn't oh uh, we will have to this could be a potential swing trade or if we end up seeing it break below this area of interest we just basically see it we'll most likely see price action sweep down to the valley down to 19,000 um, yeah that's pretty much it for Bitcoin guys but we basically what might end up happening is if we don't see it try to retest and break out during the weekend we'll likely see price action come back down and uh, stay within this descending triangle right here or potentially like this just delay it even longer it's it's depressing but just means we have more time to accumulate, right? Before the relief rally. Anyways, so that's Bitcoin. I, um, let's see. Let's go over to XRP. So I, I actually ended up moving my stop loss further into the profit zone and it got stopped out. So I got, um, I was using the average true range here on the one hour chart. And really shortly after I saw this bounce to the upside, I moved my stop loss a little bit higher up. Um, to about 48 cents and then the moment i did that we saw price action come down hit it now it's going back up so oh well i made profits i'm happy either way um and if there's a new formation that gets generated on xrp i'll stay and i'll, I'll find that you know I'll, I'll trade off that formation a little bit um depending on how it plays out anyways so i'll just let you guys know that i got stopped out of this trade if you're still in it then awesome you can write as much as you possibly can but um i'm out of this game <laughs> So we can look at other assets here, see if there's any opportunities. Let's look at Energy Web Token again. Yeah, it looks like it hit the top of the range, which is awesome. So if you guys ended up holding a little bit longer, then great job, guys. But I ended up closing it once we saw a re uh, rejection here, uh, just in case it uh, played off as a double top and just brought us back down to my stop loss. Uh, but it hit the top of this range, which is awesome. And now it's on its way back down to the bottom of the range here. For energy web token um let's look at bnb yeah we ended up closing that trade but there's no yeah, there's no opportunity right now for bnb let's see if we can find something for cardano we got this downtrend level resistance here looks like it's playing off a double top right now trying to break back above yeah it's getting rejected out this neckline so i think it's looking like there could be a trade opportunity right now, like during th this recording. You see price action come back down to retest roughly around 41 cents, 41.50. Um, based off these, the price action over here, we might have to close about half around 41.96. But yeah, it all depends on how this next candle prints, I guess. We came back up to retest and we see it um, get us confirmation rejection. And the next candle ends up closing red as well. Then I'll be entering a short position for Cardano. Really quick scalp trade. Nothing really fancy. Um, but yeah, that's Cardano. Nothing. Let's see how much percent gain that would end up being. If I enter it around here. Max potential of 2%. Uh, we could use the average true range for our stop loss. So we get a short position ready. Entered around here. See what the risk reward ratio is. That's uh, about a one to one, so I'm not touching that one. So yeah, anything that will give you equal losses to your equal gains, you should not be trading unless you have an extraordinarily good win rate. Um, if you can find a lo better location to put your stop loss, like right above this little price action right here, you can get a better risk reward ratio. But you risk being stopped out much. Uh, you're much more likely to be stopped out because of that. Um, at this point, if you were to put your stop loss here, and it would actually technically invalidate this structural trade anyway, so you could put your stop loss around here, uh, right above this little wick, and you would get like a 1 to 1.8 risk reward ratio off this opportunity. Um, but I would recommend being keeping your eye out off of this level right here at uh, 0 0.4203, um, just because we saw a support bounce there, and we may likely see a support bounce there again if it uh, price action were to creep down there. Um, so you might be forced to close your trade early if you start seeing a reversal pattern. Uh, but yeah, that's everything I got for you guys. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to me at Discord. Um, I feel like we've gone over everything. 
I think we talked about Ethereum as well. If what would we haven't? Um, but yeah, I'm out of my Ethereum trade as well. Um, I'm tracking this support level right here. If I end up breaking the support, I may enter a quick short. Um, but yeah, I ended up closing this because if I go over to my other chart here, where I was watching this descending triangle, if we end up breaking below this descending triangle support level, then yeah, we knew that was going to it was going to drop down to this um, target right here from this falling wedge, or rising wedge. Sorry, um, I ended up closing my trade completely, roughly around the time we actually lost this uptrend level of uh, support right here. Um, but yeah, guys, that's everything I got for you guys. If you have, need any questions or anything like that, you can reach out to me at Discord and have yourself an amazing day. Thank you. Bye.